Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Griffin GFX. Today I'm going to be teaching you the Photoshop illustration effect. You see this example here of what I did just the other day on my Instagram. Get this real cool aesthetic from only a few clicks on Photoshop. It's kind of like a filter effect, but I'm going to be teaching you some different blur effects and lighting effects to make it look a bit more professional. I feel like King Jediah kind of popularized this style, so shout out to him. Go follow him if you uh, like that aesthetic. Um, and I can make another tutorial where we go a bit more in depth to show you how King Jediah kind of adds artwork to the top of the image to make it a bit more artistic. But you know, drop a like and drop a comment if that's what you want to see. I'm going to be showing you the little peep time lapse and I'm going to be talking over each Photoshop process to get you to the end result, okay? Step by step. So smash that like button and drop a comment if you want me to teach you how to go a bit further and add more aesthetics and effects on top of the original image. Without further ado, let's Let's get straight into it. Yo, quick announcement before we get into the tutorial. If you comment down below 150k GFX pack, you're in for a great chance to win a completely free Photoshop GFX pack made by me. It's got loads of useful stuff in. I wanted to make it free, but I've been banned from YouTube for so long that I need to make some money. If you want to go ahead and purchase it from my website, then go ahead and do that because if you happen to win um, or win in a future video, I will refund you the money or you can get another pack for free. So yeah, with that being said, guys, keep that notification bell on. You'll always have a great chance of winning my packs. I'll be giving away packs on every upcoming video. 150k GFX pack. Comment that down below and you could have yourself this pack for free. Also, if you need any custom design work and you want to hit me up, my commissions are open. Just hit me up on Instagram or send me an email. My links are down in the description. Alright guys, let's get into the video. Okay, so step one is to choose your image. You can have your own photograph or anything on the internet. I'm using a canvas size 1920 by 1080, but it really don't matter. Just get your canvas open, get your image in and duplicate it. Keep the original unedited image separate at all times so you can go back to it afterwards. That's important. Step two is to open up the levels tool found in the adjustments panel. You want to use this to make the darks more dark. Make sure you're happy with the midtones and really enhance the lights as well. Okay, you want to make this really pop. The whole aesthetic behind the cartoon illustration is very dramatic. All right, so overemphasize the lighting. Once you're happy with the lighting, you want to duplicate your layer and hide the layer that you've just been working on. Go to the new one. This is just so you always have a backup. Now the next step is to use the surface blur tool just to really smoothen out your image. So that's found under filter blur surface blur. This is really important. It gives it a kind of oily aesthetic and it really helps with the illustrated look, all right? What I'm gonna do now is duplicate the image once again. I'm gonna sharpen and then sharpen more. And then using a soft eraser, I'm just gonna rub off a few parts to reveal the smoother effect that's underneath. I think sharpening it every now and then is important just so that the end result is crispy. Next step, duplicate, hide the layer underneath as always. Filter, filter gallery, we're going to use the cutout tool. So you don't want to copy what I'm doing because it will look different for your image. Adjust the sliders whilst looking at the preview until you get the level of like cartoon that you want. If you drop the levels too low, it will look extremely abstract. Um, I like to have the levels up high and the simplicity down a little bit. And once you've got it how you like it, you want to hit OK. And then you're going to lower the opacity of this new layer to reveal what we had underneath. You can find the balance that you like. I like to make it quite transparent so those solid edges are there and visible as if you've really kind of hand illustrated it. But you've also got some of the image and the original colors and lighting showing through. Okay, then the final step is going to be just to add one more surface blur to the top of everything that you've done. So duplicate again and add that surface blur and it will take those solid edges from the cutout effect and just moving it up a little bit to make it look a little bit more stylized, you know. And that's basically it guys for this tutorial. Like I said at the start, if you'd like to see me explain how to add more artistic touches to the top and transform the image into more of a handmade piece instead of just a filter effect and smash that like button as hard as you possibly can and let me know down in the comments because i'm game to do that to finish this piece off which ain't part of the tutorial because you might not be using a black and white image but i set a color mode to overlay and then i put some color over the top of little peep in case you didn't know that you could do that there's a little tip all right guys thanks for watching this video i've got lots more tutorials coming up soon some actual real big ones so you know get that notification bell on if you want to win some of the gfx packs i'll be dropping free gfx packs 
in every video if you don't know what i'm talking about then it's because you didn't watch the intro which means you probably missed out on getting it this time but in the next video everyone with the notification bell on has a pretty big chance of winning in case you're the type of person who isn't sitting by their phone all the time don't worry i'm not only going to be picking the first people to comment but the first people to comment will get a guaranteed win all right guys thank you so much for watching remember my commissions are open if you want me to do some artwork for you just hit me up come join our discord i'm going to be making some discord videos in the future so it's a good time to jump into the community come follow my instagram and also check out my second channel for some videos that aren't on griffin gfx and until next time guys that is me out goodbye